Paul's had run a DIY detail here. Next little job, carrying on with the little details on the uh, Subaru Impreza WRX STI version three, JDM market model. Um, so we're gonna carry on having successfully sorted out the rear wiper blade, refurbished that. We're gonna do the same for the front windshield or windscreen wiper blades. Let me show you what we're starting with. So they all seem to uh, kind of corrode like this. Uh, very thin paint on them, so they rust right through. Look, see it all here. And that blade's even worse. So the corrosion at this end's not so bad. But over there, look. Gosh. So we're going to do them one at a time, get them off, note the position that they're in, um, and go from there. What I'm actually going to do is probably put a piece of tape right here on the windshield, windscreen, rather, uh, just so I can know exactly where this arm fits when I put it back on. And I'll have to lift the, the, the bonnet up or the hood, depending on where you are in the world, to get to the mounting point here. And I have an arm separation tool, um, which I bought uh, on Amazon for, I think, eight quid, eight pounds. So uh, I'm missing a small rubber trim here, a little, little cap that fits there, so I'll try and find one of those. But to start with, I'm going to put a piece of tape here and one on the other side, so I'm marking exactly where the wiper blades go on the windscreen, so that when I refit the arms, I can get them on the right spline and they don't go either too far down or too far over. Um, there we go. Let's get on with it. There you go done just indicative where they are so if i was to spline out it'd be right up here or right down here it'd be really obvious so that's where they go so i'm going to get these off now oh, look how bad it is i'm going to wire brush that all down and then sand it um put an etch primer on there and then put the satin black on it should look quite good in the end so that's the before and i'll come back to this angle again after later See what I need. Get that cap off and we'll get to the nut underneath. Simple. Probably won't fell off on the other one. I'll try and source another cap. Let's get that nut off and then get the separator in there to, to pull this wiper arm off. So this is a, a 15 mil. Let's see what it like that. Okay, it's not too tight. Best not to lose this. Stick it on the top mount. So there's the bar, the arm, and you can't just pull that off. Um, and if you get wedges underneath here and you're not careful, you're going to crack this. So by having the proper tool should do the job. So here we go, a little draper tool. I'll try and remember to put a link in Amazon to Amazon where I got this from, but. Um, I'm not an affiliate, it's just, it's just a brilliant little tool. Just what we need. So I'll prepare that. Get that under the arm. It says, get it under the arm. That's what I'm going to do. No. Big one. There's a little rubber grommet underneath. I'll try and move that out of the way. Don't think I'll be able to get this working. Done it, but on that one, the tool doesn't fit, it will fit over there. So, what I've actually done is use some of these uh, parallel pliers, just got it underneath enough so I can get on top of the nut, the um, the bolt piece. Then, just just managed to put some leverage on the on the arm to get it out. You'll be careful because you're gonna this is aluminium, you're gonna score that up. Luckily, I'm sanding it all down, so I should be able to fix that. And it's on the bottom and, and lower side, so it shouldn't be visible, but that's off. Too tight, so I must remember that. Okay, and this one won't come off either. Right, so, in this case, we should get the tool in there quite easy. Yeah, that was shot straight out. There you go. There, straight out. 
easy. He says. Let's get it out some more. done this one's off right let's go get these stripped back and cleaned up that's the blades off safely stored so I'm going to strip those down so I've got some 240 grit and dry is going to go over this then I'm going to use my little um, it's like a scotch pad and panel wipe it all see what the first surface looks like and paint it There we go, which is preferred, degreased. I'm gonna hang them up and paint them. Now well, there we go, the primer's on. Just a bit of edge primer. Just a quick dusting, should be okay. That's the first coat of satin black. That'll be all right. Better than it was. And that's your second coat done, so it's just gonna dry off now. I think that's going to look just fine. Significantly better than they were. And there you go, install back on. Uh, you can see the arm is just substantially better looking. Uh, that's a real easy job to do. Just take your time, be patient with the uh, preparation and you'll get what is a perfectly usable result. It's likely that uh, over some time will fade away again and need redoing, but uh, the, the job itself is super easy to do. So putting those arms off again in a couple of years time and uh, painting them again won't be a major problem, but this should last. The car's gonna be garage all the time. So this should last significantly longer. Um, the tape idea worked a treat. I could line that up on the spline straight away and just push it on, superb. So I know those are in the right place. I'm very, very happy with that. It really tidies up the front of the car. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it really helps the channel. Uh, there's a lot more content on the STI 3 coming. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss those. See you soon.